Well, it was the final workout of pre-season. Were you satisfied with it? Absolutely delighted, yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, everything that we needed um, against a really quality Middlesbrough side. So, yeah, the, I mean, the players have worked really, really hard. They've had to a lot of tactical stuff because they knew they would be very technical and the tactical elements, you know, the way they rotated around and moved the ball around was just exactly what we needed. Yeah, you knew what kind of challenge I suspect you were going to get this afternoon and, and they didn't disappoint at times, they were really, really uh, good on the ball, weren't they? Yeah, credit to them, I mean, there would be, you know, you get to that level and at that age, if you're still in, in the system, in the professional system, you're, you're a decent player. Um, and obviously the, the coaching staff there, I know, and they, they work really, really hard. Um, you know, and it's, it's a good academy to be around, you know, the history and the traditions that they've got. So, you know, putting them in for the last game was always the plan. When myself and, and Jamie got together around February, March time to plan pre-season, you know, to plot the games and plan it all out, this has worked exactly how we wanted it to. And I know results don't really mean a lot in pre-season, but was it a fair one today, the, the, the draw, or do you think we just about edged it at the end? Yeah, I think we've, we've had more than enough chances. If it's a league game, you're coming away disappointed. Um, I'm still disappointed, if we're honest, and the players are still disappointed because they've got that winning mentality they spoke about before the game. And when you've got people like James Montgomery and Rob Ramshaw, Mark Anderson, telling them that you know winning's a good habit to get into, and I know Jamie said it in previous interviews, we want to win all the games we can. So, yes, we're disappointed, but we've created the chances, which is pleasing. Um, I think I'd be a little bit more worried if we weren't creating the chances. So, yeah, not been excellent. Conor Shanks is a, a, a man who seems to be informed this pre-season. He, everything he touches seems to turn to goals at the moment. Yeah, he, he's a great kid. He works really, really hard. You see when he comes on, um, you know, and, and this is the next thing as well. I mean, we're scratching my head here. Myself and Andy, and obviously we, we speak to Jamie. I've got a feeling the three of us will have three different teams <laughs> in my head for next weekend. Conor's worked really hard. His application's excellent. His quality's been good, and he's scoring goals. And he's, great, he's a great teammate to have around the place because it's something that hasn't been starting, and you know. He's still doing what he's doing and being a part of this really tight knit group that we're forming. And that's what you want, isn't it? People chopping at the bit to come on off the bench or when they start impressing. Yeah. And in terms of your, you know, your rotation, you start 11 and your substitutes, yeah. you're keeping us all guessing a little bit at the minute. Yeah, because we're guessing as well, to be <laughs> fair. No, I mean, we've had it planned out, you know, who's getting minutes and why and when. So I think they're all in a good enough spot now. There might be one or two who had little niggles and knocks that might just need, need to do a little bit more. But all in all, I think the, the fitness levels, um, but more importantly, the attitude and the character of every single one of them, they're, you know, they're, they're really coming together nicely um, and working really, really hard together. And if they're not starting, you know, they're showing it the right way by getting around the mates and being positive around the mates. And then when they're coming on, they're stepping up and doing what they need to do, which is, which is ideal for us. A week to go, and the excitement now will just build with every day, won't it? No, nah, not really. We've, you know, it's, it's getting worse for us. We'll have sleepless nights. <laughs> um, I think the main thing is about to keep to keep everybody grounded. You know, it's the first game of the season. Yes, there's excitement. Yes, there's anticipation. But we've got a job to do. We've got to really, really focus on on what we need to do Tuesday, Thursday to go down to Banbury, which will be a really tough test. But we're, we're really looking forward to it, and we're in a real good spot psychologically, technically, tactically, and physically. And it's a great uh, venue. To just, I think their last uh, last home game was against us, and it was a pretty memorable afternoon, as I remember. Uh, it would be nice to, to have scenes like that again, wouldn't it? It will, but I think we'll have to tie Jamie's laces to the bench so he doesn't <laughs> run on. Um, yeah, I know, but obviously they've had a few changes down there, and yeah. you know, they've had different management and a few different players and whatnot, which, which makes it all... I mean, we'll respect them, and we'll work really, really hard, and it will be a really, really tough game for us.